So this is the video for lesson 18 and 19. Uh, lesson 18 is planning a multi-page website. We've already created our home page for this website. So what we're going to do now is we're going to convert it into a multiple page web or multi-page website. So we've uh, already roughly planned this idea out. What you need to do now is to think about what your second and third pages and so on uh, are going to be for your website. Again, let's keep the scope realistic. If you're struggling, you might want to choose only two pages, uh, depending on the amount of content you have on the different pages, or you might choose to have many uh, different pages as we go along. So this is the time in lesson 18 that you're going to sit, get out that paper and pencil again, and plan what you're going to have on those pages. As we move to lesson 19, we're going to learn a new code, which is called an anchor tag. And what anchor tags allow us to do is they allow us to link. Now we can link to other pages and I'll show you how to do that. And we can also link to outside pages um, and other resources. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go over to the second bubble in this. And we can see we have our web page and we have a linkable uh, links at the top. And these links take us from the home to the fun facts. Uh, and all of these and back again. So it basically is a little bit of a toolbar. Now, as we take a look at the coding on this toolbar here, we can come into our code and we can see this anchor tag. And the anchor tag is open anchor tag, H reference, uh, meaning what are we referencing? And we're referencing the index page here. Or if you look at the second one, the fun facts, we're indexing the facts page uh, over here, which is the top one. The way that we add a second page to our web page is we come up here and we add HTML. You're going to see it comes in default as new HTML, new dash one HTML. I'm going to right click on this and rename it. And for our purpose, I'm just going to call it test. And I'm going to do it in all capitals so it stands out from the rest of the coding. Now, I could easily come here and start coding my new web page. The way I get back to my original HTML is here by clicking on my index page. And I'm going to show you how to create an anchor tag. So I'm going to do my open bracket A for my anchor tag, H reference. And then what am I referencing? Well, I'm referencing my test.html page. Now I'm going to close my bracket on that. Now what I type next is what I want to call this. I'm just going to call it test page, all caps, so again it stands out on this. And then I'm going to close my anchor tag. Oh, I have a comma instead of, I'm going to close my anchor tag. And you can see that pops up here now. Uh, I have my H reference, which I, there we go, H reference, uh, my test, my test page here. I'm going to offset that code so you can see that. So when I click on this, you can see it takes me to that index or that uh, test page, the HTML page that I just created. But the problem is I'm stuck. I have no way to navigate off of this page. So I'm going to do that same anchor tag. I'm going to choose my H reference. And I want to go back to my home page, which in this is my index page. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to basically say home page. And then I'm going to close my anchor tag out and we can see I now have a link in there and my home when I click on it it takes me back to that index page when I click on my test page it takes me back to my uh, page that I created. So this is how you're going to create multiple pages to your website is by adding them here. And then uh, linking them together using that anchor tag. Now what you're going to notice is if I go back to my test page, I do not have a CSS page linked to this. So I could, if I want to style all my pages the same, if we take a look back to our home page, I have my uh, style sheet right here. I can copy out that on my header here. I can paste it in my header here. And we're going to see that all my CSS pages were styled the same. If you wanted to style them differently, you could add a new CSS page here uh, and then link it to your 